it's Lucy and welcome to my unemployment diaries, vlogs, whatever I call this. I think unemployment diary sounds good. We'll see. So as you can guess by the title, I am currently unemployed. <laughs> yeah, I have actually been unemployed for a while now. It will be two months next month. So a little background. If you followed my channel for a while, you might know that I work in tech or I worked in tech, I guess. I am a software developer slash software engineer, whatever people are calling it these days. And if you have been following about what's been happening in tech and stuff, you might know that a lot of companies are doing layoffs and my company was one of them. Not much more to say about that, but yes, I've been unemployed. For the past two months, I've been taking some time to get life back together, take a break and everything because turns out you just work forever until you die, unless something like this happens. Uh, so I decided to take advantage of the opportunity and I'm lucky that I can be in a place where I can do that. So now I'm kind of on track to like get my life into a place where I have a job again. So that's what these vlogs are going to be a little bit and also just documenting my life while I'm in this era. Everyone has an era these days so this is my unemployment era, <laughs> I guess. I know that this is a book channel so it's not really the exact content you come for and I will still talk about reading. When I do these vlogs, these have no real structure so they might just end up being like weekly vlogs. Probably not weekly. The goal I think would be to do one or two of these a month, documenting between one and seven days. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> being lax here. Uh, one of my goals for this time is to also like get back into posting on my channel more regularly, especially because obviously I have more time now. So yeah, I have more time to dedicate to this channel and hopefully get it somewhere I want it to go. I don't know. So currently I have been dealing with like a lack of like get up and go. Oh no, what's it called? Motivation. <laughs> just like, oh, I don't have a job or anyone like counting on me. So I just like don't really do anything. So I'm hoping these vlogs will help keep me accountable <laughs> to doing that. My current goal right now is a rough draft of my days would be to do two hours of personal time, like working hours, I guess. I'm also only assigning myself six hours of working because I am still unemployed and I don't have to do an eight hour workday if I don't want to. <laughs> um, so two hours of like personal stuff, two hours of like job hunting stuff and two hours of YouTube stuff. And obviously in any of those areas, if I can do more, slash want to do more, I can do that. Personal stuff will depend. It will be a little bit more focusing on my hobbies. I have many, many hobbies. If you've been on my channel for a while, for a while it was bullet journaling. Now with kind of card making and scrapbooking and also knitting and crocheting and also like stuff I want to do around the house. I've lived in a basically empty house for the past two years almost. Yeah, I want it to look like I live in it. it just looks like a boys college dorm, I feel like, <laughs> in the sense that it's basically empty. <laughs> I just have bookshelves. Those are the only decor. I like made this wall kind of of like postcards, which is like cute and I like it, but I've been planning to do another wall over here, which is where my desk is. You can't really see anything. No point in pointing that out. And just like my bookshelves are a mess. I would like to organize them. <laughs> I have a cl two closets of doom. I'm lucky to live in an apartment with two closets, but they're both horrible, like do not open them. So I would like to get those organized and yeah, just be able to find stuff again in my house. So that's what I'm talking about personal and then the other two are pretty self-explanatory. These are gonna be kind of like productivity, whatever vlogs, I don't, I should have come up with like a concept before I started filming probably, but here we are. So I'm just gonna tell you my schedule, my plan for the day and we'll just take it from there. I have to put my glasses on for this because I can't see without them. This is my schedule for today. I. I'm also just taking it easy on myself as my therapist suggested because I feel like this doesn't look like I'm doing like a lot and like obviously if I had a job or if you have a job you're like oh this is barely anything but it is what it is. So first thing I need to do is luckily my old job gave me a lot of like resources for when I got laid off and one of those resources was like a resume writer slash job hunting like service and my resume writer gave me a draft of the resume and I sent notes back and I have not heard from them since. So I wanna get back on that, contact someone about that and be like, hey, I, I don't know what happened. Oh, also I should say the app I'm currently using is called Routine. This app is still in beta. So you have to like use your email and sign up and wait for them to like email you to tell you that you're allowed to use the app basically. <laughs> for right now it's free and I don't know if I like it yet. This is my first time really using it. I was using a different app called Akiflow, which I really liked, but I just wanted to try something new. So after this, I might go back to Occupy, we'll see. Next we have my weekly cleaning. This 
is kind of self-explanatory. I, for a while, was doing a whole thing where I was like going through like basically white suburban moms on YouTube and their cleaning routines. I took some elements of that because I'm trying to be a cleaner person in my house. Don't look at anything or else you'll know that it's not working. But one thing that I did take that a lot of people seem to use is called the fly lady routine and I don't do that. But the one thing I took from it is the thing she calls the weekly home blessing which I don't call it that. But yeah, it's when you basically take an hour-ish out of your week to like clean your home. And like, the thing I liked about it is that you set a timer for each section. And then once that timer's done, you're done. So one thing that can happen for me when cleaning or doing anything, honestly, is that I get like either one, I don't focus and don't do it, or I get really into it and then it's the only thing I do. So the timer helps me like, oh, I need to clean my kitchen. So it'll take me an hour to clean my kitchen if I like deep cleaned it. But this isn't about like deep, deep cleaning. It's like getting it like clean enough that if someone comes into my house, I'm like, ah, oh, the kitchen's fine. Instead of being like, ah, my kitchen is disgusting. And this way, nothing ever gets too gross. And eventually, if you probably did the rest of the fly lady routine, like everything would be clean, like the majority of the time. But this way, it's at least clean a couple days of the week and it never gets too bad if I keep to the schedule, which I may or may not be great at. Next, we have make a birthday card. Today is my boyfriend's birthday and I have to make him a card. I already got him a quarter of his present, basically. The after lunch is the other quarter whatever part of my boyfriend's birthday present which is to make him a skincare routine he said he wanted one so i'm gonna make him one and the last thing that i have scheduled for the day is to do my weekly reset which is different from my weekly clean but it's like kind of like a digital reset in a way like i get all my like plans in order i set my budget up all that stuff that's a plan for my work day and then after working me and my boyfriend are going to a restaurant to get food for his birthday and then we'll just like have a chill little night and it'll be nice so hopefully i can get all that stuff done before that happens and you'll come along with me as we see what the day brings us yeah i realized i said that i would tell you guys about what i'm reading and i realized i didn't actually do that part so yes also while i do the weekly cleaning i think i'm probably going to be listening to podcast slash the book I'm currently reading, which is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I know this is pretty popular, I think. I have not read The Poppy War, and I probably will not because I'm scared of it. <laughs> uh, everyone says it's pretty rough and gory, and I am a baby. So for now, I've skipped that trilogy, but I've heard really great things about R.F. Kuang's writing, and this is supposed to be much less violent so yeah i'm actually an hour and a half into it i actually forgot i was reading it so not sure what that says i'm listening to the audiobook i'm on chapter two so it's just getting started basically i actually don't know the synopsis of the story but the first chapter we meet a little boy who's grown up in china in the early 1800s and eventually his entire family is taken by an illness and some random white man comes and picks him up and takes him to england and starts training him for some kind of magic thing. There's like a magic thing happening that there's no details on yet. And I know that this is supposed to like deal with the kind of intersection of race, being a Chinese boy raised in Britain. So I think that will be interesting, interested to learn more about whatever magic's gonna be happening. And yeah, this is a pretty long one. Probably will not finish it in this vlog, but I'll let you guys know more as I continue.
It is now 4 p.m. Um, so far today, I did send an email and I did do the weekly clean, took a little longer than I thought. I did do some extra cleaning, which I intended slash have intended, but I still have some things on the list. I have already decided one thing I'm not going to get to is that weekly reset. I'm going to push it off till tomorrow because I don't think I'll have time to do that today. Currently, I'm set up to make my boyfriend's birthday card. Yes, I do love leaving things till the last minute. <laughs> I did not do anything yesterday, like literally zero, nada. I did finish what I said I was gonna finish on Tuesday and me and my boyfriend went out to dinner for his birthday. We went to Sweet Auburn Barbecue if you're in the Atlanta area and would like to go. If you're in the Atlanta area, you've probably heard of it. But here's some pictures of our food. I didn't take any clips because I forgot. Yeah, the food was pretty good. We had a nice time and then Wednesday, I just did not do anything. <laughs> There was no reason for that and now it's Thursday and today will be the last day of the vlog because I said so. It is currently 2 p.m. I did not just wake up. I'm just really bad at trying to actually get up and vlog in the morning. I would like to work on that. One of my goals overall for this period of time. I haven't done anything really. I did like my morning routine. I went out to Starbucks and got Starbucks and I bought some yarn specifically this yarn this isn't really true to color it's technically like a linen color and it looks way more stark white here or at least in the viewfinder it looks it's a linen color because i decided i'm gonna make a bag made of granny squares these are the other colors in the granny square that's just something i decided yesterday i got it in my head that i should make a bag <laughs> hopefully it's gonna look something like this and yeah this is the first almost square i had these three colors already so i did start this yesterday night and then this morning i went and got the white so, or it's linen, whatever. It's technically called Ecru, which apparently is the color of linen. Uh, these three colors to so that, this, I'll tell you the brands, I guess. Not that you care. I don't know, this vlog is all over the place. That's what these unemployment vlogs will be. They'll just be all over the place. Reading vlogs, knitting vlogs, produ productivity vlogs, every kind of vlog, basically. <laughs> this is Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn. It's pretty easily accessible, which is why I got it, because I got it from the local craft store that I could walk to. The yellow is also Lily Sugar and Cream, and I picked it because I already had it, because I made a tank top with this yellow yarn, like a yellow tank top, which I'll show a picture of right here also. I bought way too much to make that tank top. I just have a different idea of how much yarn it would take. So I have two leftover balls of that, and I was like, I want to use that. <laughs> And then also the pinkish purplish, it's technically a rose color, and the blue are both Hobie slash Hobby, still don't know how to pronounce it, Friends Cotton 8-8. So those are the yarns I'm going to be using for this. I will update you all, or I am planning to do another knitting podcast soon. <laughs> and now I have a to-do list. Like I said, I didn't do anything yesterday, so the weekly reset, which was the only task left over from Tuesday, is on my to-do list today. I need to set up a meeting with my job coach. I don't know what I'm doing in quotes. That's what they technically are, but it just feels weird to say that. I also would like to start editing this vlog, and then I want to work on a study plan for me getting a new job, basically. I also do have therapy today, yeah. Also, just like a little, not commentary, but yeah, if I seem a little lower energy in these vlogs, I don't know, I feel like usually I seem pretty kind of low energy in general. <laughs> Hopefully that's why you come. Hopefully I'm like a soothing, calming presence. That's the goal always. <laughs> Like today, I'm like really tired. I don't know why. That's why I haven't really done anything. It's already 2 p.m. 
And yeah, I have been dealing with some health issues that I feel like I should have mentioned in the beginning of the vlog to like kind of also account for why my days seem so like empty. <laughs> I'm not empty, but it definitely doesn't seem like I'm doing a whole lot and yet I'm tired every day. And yeah, it's most likely because of those health issues. It's nothing for anyone to be worried about. You know, I'm like fine. I'm not in any imminent danger. I'm not dying anytime soon. Knock on wood. But yeah, I actually want to do a video on it because I think it's like a kind of weird story. <laughs> yeah, I'm still thinking about it. It's also not completely done. So yeah, I was kind of waiting to till I'm finished, I guess, with it. Not finished because I'm never gonna be finished, but just like have more of an end, I guess, to it. I don't know how to explain that, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. And I do wanna talk about it because I'm both nosy and I do like sharing, hence this YouTube channel. So yeah, that's just something I'm thinking about. I'm not like being purposefully obtuse. Is obtuse the right word? On purpose, it's just because I wanna like reveal it in a video, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous now that I'm saying it out loud, but yes. Those are my plans for the day, that to-do list. Right now my plan is to set up the meeting I talked about and then eat lunch, which won't be really lunch because I'm gonna have like a late lunch because I ate breakfast so late at like noon, but like just a snack time basically. And then I'll do the weekly reset and then we'll just see where it goes from there. I always have the schedule lined up, but you know, I'm trying to be flexible as my therapist tells me to. back just to end the vlog this was a not as productive as I'd like vlog but hopefully my future unemployment diaries will be more I guess you know this was the first one we're just getting back into how I'm doing and everything so I did want to let you guys know that I started reading Life in Motion by Misty Copeland I guess I'll start with this one since I'm holding it but yes, I'm on page 81. It's good so far. I have actually read Misty Copeland's entire Wikipedia page because I wrote a paper on her for college. So there's some stuff that I sort of kind of knew, but some stuff I didn't know because obviously the Wikipedia page wasn't as detailed. So far we've learned a good amount about her early life and kind of the hardship she went through with her family. She was one of five at first and then ultimately like one of seven I think and her mom had like multiple relationships that affected her family and like caused them to move around a lot, caused them to like have like different family structures and everything which I thought was really interesting and the part I'm at now is when she ends up moving into basically her dance teacher's house, which is a wild story to me. Uh, like mostly reading this, I'm like, this is truly just wild. Like every step of the way, I'm like, what is going on? So it's really fascinating learning about her life. I didn't expect to be so surprised. So I'm excited to keep reading, seeing what else I can learn about her life. Oh, also, if you don't know, Misty Copeland is the a principal a ballerina at the American Ballet Theater. She is the first black woman to become a principal at the American Ballet Theater. And also reading this does make me want to take ballet classes again. Yeah, back to the other book that I told you all I was reading at the beginning of this vlog. I'm listening to Babel by R.F. Kuang. And with that, I have listened to two more hours of the audiobook. I am now four hours into this over 20 hour audiobook. So I'm really not that far still. I'm on chapter five, but something has just happened in the book where I think we're gonna like get some more ideas of what exactly is going on so far. So far, I'm still like not struggling, but like I don't really know where the plot is going. But I think we've entered a point where like this is the inciting incident. <laughs> so yeah, we'll follow from there. So far, our main character has gone to Oxford to start working or not working, studying at the Translation Institute of Oxford, which they call affectionately Babel. It is an interesting part of the school because that part of the school is the most open to people of other races. Basically, that's the only part of the school that's not just completely white men. And they're also the only part of the school that is open to women at all. We meet two women main, not main characters, but two people who will be friends with our main character for at least part of the story, it seems. And we meet another guy character for our main character to be friends with who it comes from India, 
which I think is interesting. I know that this has some kind of commentary on race, and like so far we've seen inklings of that. I'm looking forward to seeing it get deeper. Not much more to say. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, you might like my previous video where I take you through some of the bookstores in New York City and show you what I got and all their shelves and everything. So that will be linked over here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. Bye!